Hey guys, um, I am about to dye my hair, and well not all my hair, but I'm going to dye a strip of pink, and I figured since I was going to do this, I would show you guys how I do it, and what I use and stuff, just in case you ever want to do this. Um, I don't recommend doing this if you want this to be a semi-permanent, like if you want it to come out within a couple of weeks, I would not recommend this, but um, if you want it to last and to look really bright. I would do this. Um, I'm doing it because it's summertime and pink is like, you know, my color. Like, I love pink and I just think it's so pretty. And hair, um, I already have a little bit. You're not going to be able to see this really, but, um, well, you can see it right there a little bit. But, um, I'm going to do a bigger strip of it because the stuff that I used for this is like old. It was like old. So, um, I went out and bought some more, and this is what I use every time, and this is legit. Like, it is serious color. <laughs> it's like, um, it's called Splat Rebellious Color, and it's called Pink Fetish. Alright, is there a picture? But, um, <laughs> like, I had dyed, like, where the brown is right now, I had dyed pink, and it literally took me like three times to the hairstylist to get that stuff out it was really 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 hard to get out and even dyeing like a black over it wouldn't get it out because it turned the black like a really weird red so but yeah I'm using this today and what you'll need is aluminum foil this, which comes with directions of course you need to read um, the directions are in a thing that has some gloves which I'm not using these I'm using some um, um, gloves I have which are better and then it comes with the actual color it's called pink fetish so that's a little thing and then also if you have darker hair and you need to bleach it out it comes with that here is the lightning bleach and then here is the stuff you mix it with so yeah I'm just gonna read the instructions real quick and make sure I have everything and yeah, we'll get started. So pretty much what you need to do is go ahead and section off the hair that you want to do. So I got me a hair tie and then I'm going to go ahead and use my small thing. And I know about where I want to put it so um, it's going to be right here with this one. I'm going to do a bigger chunk this time. So I'm going to try not to do some of the black because I don't want the dark in it. So... This is really hard to do without a mirror close by. And the bad part about this color is it does um, actually run to the other your other hair, which is very very. It makes me mad just because I have blonde on top, you know, so you have to rinse it with it out touching. Because <clears throat> if you do let it touch, then it will definitely um, turn your blonde pink, which it'll come out eventually, but it looks funny. So, I try not to. <clears throat> then I'm just going to take the rest of my hair and put it back. And yes, I haven't had a shower yet, so I look awful. So sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to kind of get all of it and knot it to the side right here. It's going to look kind of funny, but... Um, and then I'm just going to divide the dark off. sure it'd probably dye the dark color of mine because it just is it's probably the roots or the follicles on my hair are probably so used to it it'd probably take on that color but I don't want to try to just because it took so long to get that pink out that I'm just going to dye the blonde and I'll be pins close by just because you'll need probably to tie back some extra hair and also, 
please wear a shirt that you don't mind getting messed up. Because if you happen to get this stuff on, on you, it, it'll be awful. And I don't really know about getting it close to your face like this. So I probably recommend not coloring the, the part. <coughs> I probably recommend not coloring this part just because it's right next to your face. Unless you want pink right next to your face. Alright, now that is about it. So we're going to go ahead and put your gloves on. You won't get any on you because this stuff will stain. Alright, now. Just, just let me go ahead and shake this up. And you don't have to mix this with anything. This is already ready for you to use. The stuff you mix was the bleach, which I don't need since I have blonde hair. Alright. Okay, we're going to take this lid off and put the whatever you call this lid and and usually some people will just put this directly on their hair and um you put it directly on their hair and blah 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 I like to put it on my gloves and then like kind of like you know wipe it on the hair and kind of get it all over it that's just how I've done it in the past and it worked really well so and you gotta make sure you get close to the roots so here we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna take some on my hand. And it looks kind of red. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks red. And and it takes it a little while. Some more on my hand. And this color was actually meant to color your whole head, which I would never do, but um so you will have a lot left. Which is good because if you ever want to like put more in your hair, you can use it. But never put like old color in on your hair, which I tried to do last time and it turned out awful. And it came out really fast. be funny looking if you just stop like right there and let half of it be blonde. <laughs> Probably easier to wash because if you get it all the way to the roots it's going to be kind of hard to wash it which is going to be fun. Alright. I always get some on my arm. I always do that. I don't know why. It's just like, so funny. Hope you guys can see how like pink that is. It's crazy. I promise this stuff lasts for a long time. It's crazy. I mean, it's good that you, if you want it to do that, but if somebody does this, who's expecting it to come out in the next like two weeks or something, it's not gonna happen. And I'm telling you from experience. So, it's almost to the roots. This is where it gets kind of hard because you don't want to get it on the other hair. So I kind of put some on my finger and you can just kind of rub it in at the roots. And you can still see some, oh, you probably can, but I can see where there's some blonde, <clears throat> some blonde still showing. So I'm going to take a little bit more and then I'll be through. I hope this comes off my arm. Alright. And I'm 
not going to go all the way down just because it's going to stain my scalp. And I pretty much never wear my hair up anyways, so it's not really going to matter if that doesn't go all the way down. Um, just make sure all your ends and all that is covered, which mine are because I'm not doing that big of a part. So I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off and go ahead and put foil on them. The instructions say you're supposed to leave it on um, 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put the foil on and just put it underneath your hair like this and fold your other hair up into it. Which, of course, mine didn't work. And just fold it like you would normally when you color your hair. And there you go. And it's going to sit there for 30 minutes. I know it looks so funny. But I'll come back after I've washed my hair and dry it. And show you guys the color payoff and everything about it. And I'll also explain to you how I take care of it. Be right back. Alright, hey guys, um, I just got through washing my hair and it's still a little bit damp, but I was going to show you the color and the payoff that it has. Um, my light's not very bright, but, um, so yeah, it's really, really hot pink and, um, it looks really cute. Um, I don't, I wouldn't recommend doing it where, like, on the top, you know, really bright because it is kind of permanent and it did kind of, um, get into my other blonde so that's the only bad part about it but so um, I was going to tell you how I keep up with it if it starts to fade what you do is you take some of the color that was in the bottle and you mix it with like a quarter size of shampoo and you just kind of go through the part that's already that color and it will um, maintain your color so just condition it like normal and that's pretty much it it's very easy and yeah if you have any questions guys don't don't be afraid to ask me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's really, really bright pink. So yeah. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.